Hello everyone. I hope you are doing good. Today I will be talking about my last trade, which I entered on twenty second of June and I exited on seventh of July. I entered this trade as a double calendar spread, so I bought the upper calendar and the lower calendar. And later on, I bought, made it, converted this double calendar into a triple calendar by buying the middle calendar as well. So, at what scenario did I bought this middle calendar? And also, what were my thought process? When should I we apply this strategy? What are the expiries? How I understand this trade, and what were my learnings from this trade? So, I will discuss everything in this video. So, I hope you will learn a lot from this video. Those who are new to my channel, let me give you a little introduction. I trade double calendar spread almost every week for consistent weekly income. My profit target remains ten percent. So, if you are also interested to make consistent weekly income in a safe way, do subscribe to my channel. There is a playlist you can see on top of your screen. In this playlist, I have put videos which will cover this strategy in detail. So, if you need to learn anything about this strategy, you can check out this trade play playlist. It has all the videos you need to learn this strategy. To give you little motivation, let me show you my twenty twenty two profit calendar. Most of your YouTubers I see they share their strategies, but they won't show how they are performing. Here I am transparently showing all my profits and losses in this Excel sheet. My win ratio is eighty percent, and you can see I made three losses. So one, two, and three. Three were my losses, and rest twelve are my profits. So that's why the win ratio is eighty percent. Most of my profits are like I exit at ten percent or above. So that's why my profits are like ten percent or above. So on one to one basis also I am making some good profit. Except March I have made some. Good profit in every month. So in this volatile in uh, situation, when we don't know where is price going, whether it will go up down, people are making losses. This strategy is working very good, and we are making a lot of profit every week. So I will highly recommend you guys at least start with paper trading. Check out my videos. At least check out that playlist. Check out all the videos in that playlist, and then you also start doing. For each trade, I have documented the uh, video. So check out every video. What were my learnings? Because there was very volatile situation here. In March we were going down up. Then in April, May we were going down. So there was so much volatility in the whole from January till now. So you will learn from every trade. You will learn a lot from my videos. So I'll highly recommend you guys check out the videos and then you start doing paper trading. And if once you get confidence, you can start with real money as well. So this is my profit calendar. Now let's start the video. And those who haven't liked this this video, please like this video as well. It will get promoted on YouTube algorithm, and new and new people will also watch it. Other people, other YouTubers are charging for this content. I am giving you guys for free, so I hope you will enjoy and learn a lot from this. So now let's start the video. So on twenty second of June, twenty twenty two, spy was moving around three seventy four, three seventy three like this. So I thought to enter a double calendar spread. So now, what were the dates did I choose for this double candle spread? So, as you guys know, my strategy is since uh, I entered on twenty second of June this day. So, anywhere if I am entering in this week, I'll go three weeks far. So, first week, second week, three third week. So, basically, anywhere from twenty to twenty fourth of June, and anywhere I am entering this trade, I'll go three weeks far, second third. So, fifteenth of July will be my selling leg, and twenty second of July will be my buying leg. To create this calendar, so these were my expiry: fifteenth of July and twenty-second of July. When I entered on twenty-second of June calendars. Now, what were my strike prices? So first, what I'll check, whichever is my selling leg. So my selling leg of the calendar was fifteenth of July. So I will check add the money straddle price. Add the money straddle prices. Just add the money call and add the money put of fifteenth of July expiry. Add their premium together, so that is add the money straddle price. That's called add the money straddle price of that expiry. So I'll check out that. So I'll check out what is the add the money, which is like three seventy five, correct? That day, so three seventy five strike price uh, call and three seventy five strike uh, price put both the premium of fifteenth July expiry. I will check. I'll add them together. That is the add the money straddle price. So that was coming around twenty two. Okay. So I'll add little extra cushion, and instead of twenty two, I made it as twenty five. So twenty five points far over my upper and lower calendars. 
also if you see so i there was some sort of you know resistance at the, here at 390 390 so 400 seemed a good point and just to make it equal distance 350 was my lower price so and also i like that day let's say when i entered it was let's say it was around at 373 so if i will add 25 to that point it will come out to be 398 some 398 so i will round it off to multiple of 5 so it was, instead of 398 i made it as 400 because the uh, the rounded of uh, options are little you know volume is more 398 options will be little less volume so it is easier to get in and get out of trade that's why i round it off to you know multiple of 5 so 350 400 like that instead of 398 you can trade even 398 strike price calendar but 400 has more volume so it will be easier for you to you know enter and exit so you guys also can also you know round it off so that was my thought process then going forward spy moved up and then it started going down so when it was going up my like when it is going up what i do is usually when it is halfway uh, through that uh, let's say about 390 or something like that i bought this 375 the middle calendar as well in calendars what happens add the money is the most expensive so on 22nd of june the 375 was at the money that's why this was the most expensive this 400 and 350 were cheap, cheaper one but the 375 was the most expensive one so that day i didn't bought it but when spy moved to 389 here then this was at the money and this was not at the money 375 so it became cheaper so i bought 375 strike price canada okay it had some delta increase like because the lowest lower the closer one lost some value so it was not there's both things playing around but since add them it is not add the money it will become cheaper uh, so i bought this 375 strike price calendar on, on this day now there are two uh, things you have to take care when you do this strategy first thing is you have to see how fast it is going like how what is the sentiment market sentiment if you see here let's say this scenario if you will see okay so you can see here the spy moved down very drastically one day second day third day it was going down so fastly so let's say if i would have entered this trade on this day let's say so next three days already it is so going down so fast so halfway i would have already reached there so first day let's say it has moved to 360 next day it has gone to 355 or something then i won't buy this middle calendar because there is good chance it will outburst this 350 and it will go down then what i will do is i will see on when it is going to cross this 350 what is the expected move and i will buy one more calendar down here let's say 330 depending on how what is the you know straddle price on that day based on that i will do you can see that video sometime later when i will do such a trade i will let you know how i'm buying one more calendar down or up but today we will concentrate on the middle one like how i did the middle so only the problem thing is when it is going down drastically then i won't apply this strategy that okay usually when it is going up you know uh, when any stock going up is little slower when it goes down it goes fast fast so this strategy will work well when stock is going up when it goes up there's good chance it will go show a bounce here in this scenario it showed a bounce here it is possible it might have shown a uh, bounce here or it is also possible it would have shown a bounce here like above it then in that scenario whatever i would have done done i would have bought one more calendar at 420 something like that i just need this bounce once it bounces back you are in good profit like 10 percent or something so once it shows this bounce then you will see a profit so here I was feeling like, okay, we are going down, but uh, up here we are going up, but there's a, some sort of resistance also. So there's good chances now we can go down. And once we'll go down, since I will have this 375 calendar, I will make profit. So that's why I bought uh, 375, the middle calendar on this day. Now there could have been possibility that it would have continued going up, up, up. Let's say on this day, instead of going down, it would have gone, went up to 400. What would have happened? This would have become very negligible so this would have given you big losses but at the same time this 400 would have given you big profit as well because it has become at the strike you know at the money calendar so this would have given a lot of profit so this 400 profit would have compensated for 350 and also 375 
because 375 would have also given you losses because you entered here and now spy is at here so it has gone further away from this 375 so this would have given you small losses not a lot but they would have given you small losses so there are good chances 400 profit the profit you got from 400 calendar would have you know overcome losses from both of these or maybe your profit would have came down a little bit but not you won't go into loss category overall overall profit won't be you know a loss it will be a profit only if it, it would have reached 400 so there is one only one problem like when if it but once it outburst then you have to buy one more calendar because if it let's say it keeps on going up up there something happens so suddenly let's say the ukraine and uh, war ends up and all this positive some suddenly inflation is all gone suddenly something happens so you, this spy starts going up 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 every day so then let's say if i would have seen instead of this red candle if i would have seen such a big green candle and it would have closed above 400 then i would have bought one more calendar upper one also so in a way then i will see a bounce and i will make a profit so this is one thing you have to keep in mind so when it is going away buy this calendar and if it is their chance that it will outburst this then buy one more calendar upper or where, where if it is going up there's a when it is going down let's say in two days already it has reached here then don't buy the middle calendar wait for it either to outburst it or show a bounce then based on that so usually this strategy is not good for when it is going down but it is good when it is going up when it is going down let it go down let it come back and then buy 375 okay because based on that like whether it continue going down or it goes up you can buy either 375 or 330 so that will be my recommendation to convert middle calendar to the uh, the double calendar to the triple calendar now let me show you this into this day to day basis how this performed so i entered on 22nd of june 350 and 400 were my strike prices in total it was costing me 168 the 375 calendar was costing that day 130 30. since i didn't bought it i put as a comment i went added it here okay so 375 was that day at 130 okay going forward on 23rd of june my profit was 0.9 percent on 24th of june we reached 390 now since we were like almost more than halfway around and i was feeling that we will see a bounce i bought this middle calendar so i got it cheaper see instead of 130 i bought at 120 so i i saved eight points here so my average cost was this 168 plus 120 so my average cost was 290 okay so now going forward on 27th of june spy now started going down and my profit was 2.25 percent now on june 28th my profit was five percent so now you can see the middle calendar is 143 dollars okay and here it was one i bought at 122 so already i'm 20.2 points profit already in this because of middle calendar okay now on june 29th my profit was five percent on june 1st i sold that calendar the middle calendar you can see on june which date was july 1st okay on july 1st yeah we reached at 375 one point and i sold that calendar 375 only not the upper and lower just the 375 my thought process was now either we can go up or we can go down so 375 will start losing its value so better to sell it off capture my profit from 375 calendar and now let the 400 and 350 make profit as the spy move up or down so that was a good strategy and i am sold at 156 but there was one catch you can see next day it didn't move much it was staying here only okay so one problem with this strategy is if spy would not have shown this move this three days it went up like second day and third day if spy would not have given it shown this movement and it would if would it would have toggled around at 374 only i would not have made good profit rest of the profit which i wanted to see to reach 10 percent goal i would have stayed at nine percent itself i would not have reached the 10 percent because to make 400 or 350 to show profit spy has to go up or down if it will toggle around here then 375 will give you profit 
and since I have exited that grid, the 375, I don't have any more. So in that scenario, if it keeps on toggling at 375 or around that time, then I won't get more profit. Got my point. And actually 400 and 350 will start giving you losses now because uh, the expiry to the calendars are coming and uh, SPY is not taking you. So here I desperately wanted the SPY to take either up or down. Both will work. Either it goes up or it goes down. I will make a profit. But if SPY would have shown, you know, uh, just wiggling around at 370, then I would have made a loss. So this is the uh, negative about this strategy. Going forward, I will not sell it early. Like I won't sell if it reaches 375. I will let it be there because there is good chance it will wiggle around at 375 itself. So going forward, I won't sell at 375 like once it reach. I'll exit the whole trade, whole triple calendar in one go itself. Because let's say if I'll show you here also, if in this direction it went up, even then this 375 has given you little profit. So you can see I sold at 156, right? By closing it was 159. And next day on July 5th, July 5th is here see it was in a profit of 166 okay now on july 6th it is in a profit of it is the pro price went up to 169 july 6th you can see it took the direction of going up even then 375 was giving you profit okay now on next day it went further up okay and it gave you little loss so 169 came down to 147 it gave a loss but it is not that drastic it is it is just 20 point loss okay so that part is fine so you can make more profit from 400 and also one more thing when it was going down like on july 6th here when it was going up like july 6th here it is showing like eight percent and seven percent profit but there were scenario like during the day these are like closing prices but there was time during the day when it was 10 percent also so if i would not have sold on July 4, 1st, if I would not have sold middle calendar that day, on July 5th, I would have reached my 10% profit because in middle of the day, it was 10%. Include when, if I include my triple middle calendar as well. Anyway, so this number is including the middle calendar and this is after I took the profit. So my actual profit was 5% now. Okay. On July 6th, my actual profit was 3%. But if I would have kept my triple calendar, my profit was 7%. On July 7th, finally, my profit was 10% and I exited this trade. If I would have hold it, my, this triple calendar, this was 7%. But that day on July 5th itself, I would have exited. If I would have hold it my triple calendar, like middle calendar as well, in, on July 5th, I would have exited this trade because during the day I saw it was 10% profit. So July 5th, I would have visited, but with my strategy, I was able to exit on 7th of July with 10% profit. So it was a lot of learning from this trade. So usually, so what are my learnings? Let me summarize again. I will go with double calendar at the start. I will wait for SPY to move up and based on or go down and based on the movement, I'll see if it is going up, 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 you see. I bought on this day usually I should go on this day when it is showing some red movement when it is showing some resistance at this point or if it is going down when it is showing some resistance or maybe this day is fine also it opened here we, at this point I could have entered bought this 375 strike price calendar so when it is showing some sort of resistance then I will buy this middle calendar as well and then I will let it you know go till end till I make 10% profit if it is this type of scenario when it is going down very fast then don't buy this middle calendar. Wait for it to outburst or go some sort of support. So here there's some sort of support. Let's say this happens here, then you could have bought the 375 calendar. And going forward, I will hold my triple calendar till the end. Here I exited it, but I felt like if I would have hold it, the, my triple middle calendar as well, I would have exited the trade by 5th of July itself. So it, the middle calendar won't give you bigger losses suddenly even if spy moves up or down so this is the way i'm going forward i will do i hope you learned a lot from this video it was a lot of information please pause and watch it again if you missed anything also you can ask any question if you have in the comment section below also i will end this again with my profit calendar to give you motivation start doing 
paper trading at least learn this strategy and start doing paper trading once you will make two three paper trades with profits you will get this confidence and you will also start doing it with real money and also please like this video it will get promoted on youtube algorithm so new people will also learn right now people are making so many losses because of this volatility in spy so this strategy is working very well in this scenario so i will highly encourage you guys to like this video and help others as well thank you one disclaimer information that i am sharing in this video is for your education purpose only do your own research before you put any trade see you in the next video